In this video, I will teach you guys how to make a video with Filmorico on your phone. We all know that mobile phones are ideal for taking videos on the go. The problem is that before you can publish a video on any of the popular social media platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, you'll need to edit your videos to look more professional. Wondershare Filmorigo is an easy-to-use, free, and full-feature video editing app. It includes all of the basic functions such as trimming or merging clips and lots of additional special effects to help you create amazing videos on your phone. Adding background music, filter, and voiceover to your videos is a breeze, and you can publish your video directly to your preferred social media platform from Filmorigo. Let's get started. Tap the Filmorigo icon on your phone to open it, then click on the New Project button placed at the bottom center of the app window. Once you've allowed the app access to your gallery, select the video slash photo that you wish to edit. You also have the option to select several photos and videos to import at once. Now click on the Import button. You'll now be taken to the Video Editor screen, which will allow you to apply all of the basic editing options like trimming, copying, rearranging clips, and changing the video speed. To trim the video, tap on the Trim function at the bottom of the screen. Now slide the video sequence to the left and create clips at specific times by tapping on the Split function. Now you can delete clips or rearrange them to redesign your video. Add music. Filmorigo allows you to add the perfect music to your video. Simply tap the music button to open up a whole new menu of sound features. These include featured music by Filmorigo, access to your own saved music, sound effects, extracts from other videos or voice recordings. Once chosen, you can split, copy, or delete the music or sound effects of your video. The app also allows you to adjust the sound to fade at the end or beginning of the video. You can also choose to alter the speed of the music as well as the volume by tapping on the appropriate buttons at the bottom of the screen. Add text. To add text to your video in Filmorigo, simply slide the playhead to where you want the text to start. You can always change this later, of course. Then tap on Text button in the toolbar. Type in whatever it is that you need or want to appear overlaid on the video and use the return key to create a line break if needed. Tap on the check mark to save the text. Now to reposition the text, tap and hold the text box, then drag it to where you want it. To angle the text, turn it sideways or upside down, simply grab the outsides of the box and turn it to re-angle. To increase or decrease the size of the text, drag it out or pinch it in respectively. You can also adjust the font of your text by selecting the font option in the toolbar to avail more than 10 different styles. Finally, you can also add animation to the text with the animation tool. These animated effects can be set with a beginning transition, ending transition, or an animated effect to the entire text layer. Simply tap on the animation tool and select in, overall, or out to choose where you want the animation to appear. Add filters and effects. Filters and effects serve a particularly important purpose in a video as they can draw attention to details that may be missed otherwise. Luckily, adding effects such as chromatic looks, a bad TV signal, or fisheye view to your videos is simple and easy on Filmorigo. By selecting the effects option from the toolbar, you can gain access to 12 preset filters and overlay effects, or you can opt to download more from the store. By selecting a clip or positioning in the video, you can add a specific overlay or filter to it to highlight certain events or create a smooth transition between two clips. These can be applied to clips in the video or the whole video, depending on what you need. After you've added effects, the length of the effect can also be adjusted simply by dragging the effect timeline, visible below the video track to lengthen or shorten it. Effects can also be deleted or edited by selecting them and tapping on the Edit option in the toolbar. This will allow you to choose a different effect for that section or add another right after it. Some of the effects come with added sound to suit. Add PIP feature. Finally, the PIP or picture in picture feature allows you to import videos and photos to the media library to insert or add to your video. The added video is usually shrunk down and placed in a corner to enable the viewer to see the main video as well as the insertion. This is very useful where a demonstrational clip is added in a tutorial or gaming video. To insert a video overlay, simply tap on the PIP option in the toolbar and select the media that you want from your gallery. 
This will insert the video clip in the selected position of your original video, producing a raw picture-in-picture -picture video that you can further edit to suit your preference. Once you've inserted a video or photo in your initial video stream, tap and hold the inserted video or photo and drag to reposition it. You can also change the angle of the insertion by grabbing the outline of the box and using your fingers to rotate or flip the inserted clip. Similarly, you can increase or decrease the inserted video size by dragging it out or pinching it in, respectively. We hope this guide helped you discover and master the wonderfully practical Filmora Go app. It definitely is a go-to app for video editing for any Android or iPhone user. And although it was designed to cater to the emerging YouTube generation, it's functional and easy enough to use for anyone wishing to add some pizzazz to their videos. Thanks you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or want more tutorials, let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.